So right now we're talking about the full moon, this full moon that is coming up on um, August 3rd, 2020. Uh, what can you describe about this moon? It's a power moon, you said. What does that mean? He's saying that this moon has the power to um, the authority, actually, he's saying. This moon has the authority to embed. Uh, so from the moon's perspective, it's embedding new like light code within us. And then from our perspective, it's integrating. So we embody um, light, like of light of new awareness. So imagine expanding yourself on a spectrum he says, right. this moon has the authority to do that. Um, if you don't anchor your light, you'll, he says, in dust. Right. You'll turn to dust. So this, this moon has the ability, you said, also to be heard. Can you explain that? Yeah, yeah he's showing this moon there, like, is, is very with you, very aligned with you. Um, it hears you. So the, it is transacting with you energetically, like very intimately. So let yourself, he says, let yourself go and be mindful. Like in all things that you do, he said. Um, so he was showing, uh, like, you know, kind of connecting or harnessing this energy by like a personal ritual ceremony suggesting to set out like a big bowl of water, just regular tap water, whatever kind of water you want to get. And, and letting the moon charge this water. Yeah. <laughs> if you can drink it, you can um, pour it over your crown for um, inviting uh, new awareness. You can bathe your crystal for your tools. Um, and once you've used it, then... Be done with it, he says. Um, like don't, it's like don't leave it sitting around and just sitting around and sitting yeah, around. So like utilize it either like to clean, uh, to cleanse your your third eye, your chakra, your crown, uh, or use it to cleanse your crystals, the things that you use in your everyday life. And then you also said it was uh, it, it it was a healing uh, type healing. You said healing, insight, and vision type of moon as well and i'm i'm looking up online here and it says like the full moon is in aquarius is all about justice mm. is that to someone's perspective or is that also what does that mean or because there's a lot of stuff out there you said it does bring power it's a power moon and that's what i see when when i when he's showing like burying things like as a, as a ritual burying your truth um, or when he says burying your truth in the earth, I'm literally seeing him dig a hole um, and putting his truth in the dirt and burying it. But this is like the truth that the ego has told you. So it, he's kind of going back to it. And that's where I feel like the, the justice aligns, where it's like make right with your ego um, and bring it to like rectify it. It's like the feeling of like rectify um, the ego, because it's it's not to be made the enemy. So pure alignment with it. He's like, wink, wink, it's your best friend. Um, pure alignment with it. You're actually burying the duplicity, the dualities, not your personal truth. It's like you're in this ritual he's showing, you're burying uh, the duplicity or you're giving it back to the earth. Um the duality of the ego or that you want to believe. So if it's, he's like, he says, call upon the dynamics. Those are his words. And I think what he means by saying that is like control, fear, judgment, um, all of those things. Um, okay. Those are the elements that are buried. Notice the transaction that was not one-sided. Nothing ever is. He says, he's like, mark my words, <laughs> but, um, so as you're burying that, you are making room, space, space, spaciousness, he says. So as you're burying, also, what, he says, ask yourself, what are you inviting? Okay. So it's a full transaction. Um, and there it could be so many. 
So like you can have 10 bowls of water sitting out, one for crystals, one for a ground bath, you know, on and on and on. Uh, one for a foot bath, he says. Um, so really aligning you in your, it's like it standing in alignment, like rectifying essence and truth. So whatever isn't that, that's the justice you see that's going to create um, dust, he says. And a curiosity that I've, I've always had is like, why does the moon do that? Like, I know everything is a reflection and bouncing off. Ener- everything is energy. Everything is vibration. So was it put in place for this? I'm hearing the word equilibrium. It's like it, it, it rules or it has authority over the equilibrium. I can't say the word equilibrium here. Um, so balance. So think about neutrality, balance, alignment. Um it, 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 the electromagnetics from it to like here and then other earths or sorry, other planets, um, he's showing it creating like cause and effect or amplifying cause and effect pull, um, like electromagnetic pull and then push. So those wave cycles, so to speak, when we're looking at like frequency, we're saying those wave cycles um, give us density, which gives us polarity. So it, it is like the, um, not the judge, but it does, it, it does cause things to be rectified. Well, you said it the other day, cause and effect, it's kind of like, uh, let, me, let me pull it up here, these crop dusters, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> <Good words. laughs> I'm just, all oh, right, here we go, cause is, cause, cause is the subscription, the effect is the programming, so it, it's related with the Illuminati stuff, and that kind of, like, the same process, like, they're, they're, they are the cause, the effect. So what? how are they related almost? Right, right. Like the ego. So again, he Ask says him. you can even look at the Illuminati as a manifestation of egocentric point of view. Yeah. Um, so we can't call it good or bad, though. We can't call it evil. Otherwise, we just get stuck in the matrix. Well, okay. yeah, and then we also put a label of judgment on it. Was, because why would you want to hold that kind of weight? He's just talking in general to people, like, yeah, yeah, about judgment. And he's like, why would you want to hold any kind of weight? Like, because the only thing you're doing when you're judging is making your own gravity worse. Yeah. Truly. And he's like, and he's like and you, should, you should see the shit that it does to your physical body. <laughs> like yeah. that energy. I mean, people feel it and they walk around saying, why me? Or I'm so heavy or I don't feel good or causes illness, all these things. Yeah. He goes, he goes, you should constantly be clicking the unsubscribe button, meaning like just identify, like, take the witness stance, take the witness stance, like over and over. Like I am witness. I am. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. We'll get into that. But awesome. Anything else to say about the moon? Like to drum with it, like to pull in the rhythm. Mm-hmm. Um, like the beat, like he was showing, like that rhythm, like really pulling, inviting it in through, because I think it was so cool. God, I wish I could animate what it would be. Um, so imagine a person, right, sitting down, and then there's the moon in the sky. And vibrationally, imagine the moon just emitting like these magnificent ribbons of like light and color. Mm-hmm. And it's like coming down oh, covered in chills to the person. And so as they're drumming, the frequency, the sound wave that they're putting out from the drum goes like this with like the moonbeam. Mm-hmm. It just goes like what? Like, so here's the moonbeam light, here's the drumming, and it just kind of like so literally showing me an image of like the the resonance at which you're drumming is how you're integrating the frequency because it's like sound wave meets sound wave and it like that's how that's how and where you anchor the light oh, that's what you anchor the light 
Interesting. Um, so, but just with the drum, what if people don't have a drum? Can they use like a singing bowl? Can you use something else, another frequency tool? Yeah. yeah. He says, cool. yeah. He says uh, the drum is the most moving because of the vibration, like the like a deep, um, a deep drum. But he says, um, really, any whoa. He says we have the right tools. So if I were to play my flute, that's going to resonate like at the crown and at the throat. So um, and in the heart because it's a G. Right. So I'm going to anchor the light at my heart. Like if your bowl plays an F, um, that's the heart. Then you're going to anchor the light into your heart, right? Mm-hmm. Showing like the like whatever instrument you have. You're going to catch the moonbeam. Think about it like that. You're going to catch the moonbeam at that frequency and integrate it at that level. Now, so if you does, had a ritual, does timing matter when you do this type of stuff? Like just that day or mm-hmm. that night or better when it's the, at its prime when it's like, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm assuming that if you're under the lights, it right. would be a hundred percent better. But some people like right. myself who live in Los Angeles or in an apartment and can't get out easily and can drum out outside. What? Wow. Like, just, nope, get out on top of the mountain. <laughs> so he's like, nope, take your instrument and go. Get out on top of the mountain. <laughs> I mean, I, I get it. Easier said than done. But you could go for, like, a little hike. And I, I could go sit in my backyard, sit in the grass, and, like, just be yeah. under the light. But the best <laughs> thing is to be under the light during that full moon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, it's just kind of showing, like, wherever – Whatever sound you're pitching with an instrument is where you're going to anchor your life. All right. So how does one, like, I know, like, moon, obviously, 12 months out of the year, they have, you know, different aspects of it. Like, how does one, like, really utilize each full moon, uh, each moon uh, power? Like, how does one, like myself, who doesn't know anything about the moon, should they look up, like, what that moon is bringing and then just utilize it the same way and kind of do my own little rituals the way that I feel or, but it's always the same effect. Like, yeah. He says, way- don't anything up. Um, let your body talk first, like your inner wisdom is showing. Um, okay. Let your inner wisdom tell you because it's not a blanket effect, so to speak. Um because everybody is different light, right? So, like, you, he's showing you being so cool. What is that crystal? Um, I got to look it up and make sure this is called Lar- Larimer. It's like that light blue crystal. Hang on. This is where you're vibrating right now. Larimer is where, like, you personally, your aura is vibrating with, um, like, this. Like that real light blue Larimer. So that's where I'm, what does that mean? Wisdom of the sea, peace, quiet, confidence, clear communication. I trust my innate power and wisdom. Um, promotes relaxation, um, aids in contacting angels and ascension. So that's just like where you are vibrating and showing. Um, that's where I'm vibrating? Mm-hmm. So... But what is Larimar? Is it a stone? Yeah, it's a crystal. You know, like fluorite and things. Lar- so is he asking, should I should I get something like that? Um. So what? Or is he just like describing like where I'm vibrating, basically? Yeah, he's just describing where you're vibrating. It's not like we have to go get one, but like that's what color your aura is, and like that's the resonance, which makes sense. All of this is describing. Can like, you send it to me? Uh huh. Um, but you know, explain in your own words too, for my purposes. Hybrid. Hybrid. So, yeah. So in my own words, it's like it's a very it's a very soothing crystal. Like immediately, anytime I've ever seen a Larimar, it's always been like, oh, like you feel this wash come over you, um, and it's it just kind of connects you to your inner stillness. What? different uh, frequencies you pitch um oh you said everyone is different everyone is at a different light that's how we got to me that's why that's why he showed me you and it's it's going to be like listen to your inner heart your inner wisdom 
oh, that makes sense. And that's what Larmer is all about. That's cool. So he was showing you, um, like as Larmer, as he was saying what Larmer is. And I didn't realize it. You see what I mean? Because he was saying like, because you were asking, Asking like what kind of like ritual or what kind of things you do on each full moon and he's like you know don't read anything listen to your inner heart your inner wisdom and let that tell you um and and that's what larmer is all about is like listening to that wisdom and having that be like your innate truth okay. um, and your innate like like very forward in your sense of being you know what i mean yeah so so, so always any full moon any you know, just kind of go in intuitively inwards and yeah. Because he's saying like, you'll notice, like some full moons, you'll be drawn to like water rituals. Other full moons, you'll be drawn to like fire related candle, um, smoke, sage. Others, you'll be relate. You know, you'll feel that natural pull, earth and herbs and things. So um, you'll know, and that's going to bring you more light, truth than reading up on what you should do. Yeah, so any closing final thoughts on, on the moon and how to harness its power? Ooh, this is so cool. He, he's like saying, if he were to suggest a ritual or a ceremony, whatever you want to call it, um, take your intentions that you want to manifest and write them down like on a little piece of paper. And I'm literally seeing him take that little torn up, you know, torn off piece of paper and burying it in the ground, covering it up. And then after the full moon, like put like watering it with the full moon water, like wow. pulling the light. That's truly to... planting your seeds. Yeah. That's truly planting ideas into the ground and then pouring the earth water. Yeah, he's saying she hears you. She hears you, like Mother Nature, Mother Earth. Like she hears you, um, because you have to know that that's real. He's like real, real soft as he's talking. He's very humble right now. Um, he's like you have to know that that's real. So he's like, like will you do it, please? Like will you try? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. and if you will, he says like for you, like um, bury a larmer with it. Lar it's larmer, it's like the weirdest saying, larmer. Like larmer. they're, they're, you know, get a, like a gold. I thought you and I bought one together one time because we're like, oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Maybe. Like it has such soft energy. Um, Is it blue? Kind of, right? Yeah, it's like a little blue. It's like three things that you want to manifest. So in that piece of paper, Write down three things. Um, and put a yeah, that looks, like, that looks like Larmer. Right, yeah. So you can set set the bowl of water out tomorrow. And the stone. Through. Maybe if you have the stone as well, the Lar Larimar stone. Yeah, and then, um, then oh, the next night after the full moon. Go to the mountain and bury like the note and the crystal and water it with the moon water. Cool. Ooh, I like that moon water. That's cool. good. Remember, water, ocean water, all that, they're the, some of the strongest, most powerful. Yeah. Ocean, river, time. anything that's flowing. It'd be great if you can get like river or ocean water mm -hmm. and then with the moon's water. Everyone can have a different moon depending on what they're, where they're resonating at. Obviously. Yeah, or in an offering too, you know, it's like um Or it's just a simple offering, yeah. Yeah, like I could I could bury my old wedding rings to to bring healing and wisdom. You know, it's like what are you really dealing with? What are you really facing? Join our community. You can like and subscribe to this channel to stay in the loop with more content as we share more information. Also join me online. My website is Kimberly-Ray.com and you can find me on social media across the board. Join our community online at Kimberly-Ray.com. Feel free to submit your questions and join our retreats. We have retreats all around the world um, every year throughout the year. Also, if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one session, connect with your loved ones. You can join me online as well. 
uh, social media across the board. Find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. And as always, take good care of yourself and take care of each other. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.